situation or the issue is resolved, the kids shouldn't be allowed at school. More students did show up to class in the Cedar Rapids Community School District today following that threat of violence that closed all of its schools Monday. But the overall attendance was still lower than a typical day today. 80% of students were in classes today compared to 60% yesterday. Now, the person who made the threat has not been identified. KCRG TV 9's Connor Woodruff is live outside Roosevelt Middle School after speaking with parents. And Connor, how comfortable are those parents and students as they settle back into classes? Well, Jim and Beth, parents I talk to are certainly apprehensive. Law enforcement and district leaders say they're confident in the safety of the schools, but some parents say they aren't dropping their guards until somebody is caught. Parents across the Cedar Rapids Community School District are still worried. They need to go to school and it's when, and one place to be safe is school. It's, it's frustrating. After a social media threat shared over the weekend led to a district-wide school closure Monday. Even with law enforcement expressing confidence in the safety of schools, parents are still concerned about the threat of violence. It makes me a little nervous knowing that there was a threat. It still makes me nervous. Mm -hmm. It still makes me pretty nervous. Another parent mentioned the financial impacts a closure will have on the district. This has cost the taxpayers a lot of money and people with their jobs. I mean, schools are closed, the teachers are off. Um, the custodians, the cafeteria people, um, the police staff, everything. It's, it's cost a lot of money for this. These concerns have been reflected in attendance, with yesterday seeing only 60% of students coming to school district-wide. Others I spoke with today mentioned that the district's security precautions like restrictions on backpacks and limits on school entrances and exits may not be enough. As of right now, law enforcement still has not found who's responsible for the threatening post. In Cedar Rapids, Connor Woodruff, KCRG TV9 News.